operating tub, excavator, and a bowser. It's only a small bowser. So I'm just writing in my diary now. So the plan is to put the excavator on railway style and put the bowser underneath the boom on the back. So if I need to lift it off, I can lift it off really easily on site. Or if they've got a tight hand there, there they can, which I think they have, they can pick it up and take it off. I really know. There she is, there's my machine. Just might be a bit tricky getting it out, but we should be all right. If you remember the other week when I talked about picking the second bucket up, if you're allowed to. If you pick him up this way around, look how close that is to the cab. Look how dangerous that is. So, this has been left like this for me, I'm going to change it before I do anything else. Can you see how safe that looks now? A bit easier, isn't it? That didn't take long, ready to go. Come on. Tom's doing something similar with that one. You see it? Quick feel up, then we can get this one off. Another bucket tip if you're interested, if you pick it up on the corner like that, it's not as secure on the edge. See, see how it shoves very, very easily. So, you, if you're going to pick a bucket up, if you must have it, try and pick it up on the centre tooth because it's more stable. So, so it's now ready for, ready for Tuesday morning. Yeah, 1.30, nice, fairly newish one, pretty tidy, yeah. There's Drew, <laughs> close up, there's Drew, getting his ready, Tom's in the distance there, we're all having fun. That's us, we're only done, ready for Tuesday, we're good, five foot finish, well, actually all of us five finish, going to the tackle, come on out. So we're good, yeah, good day of that. So fell into place quite nicely, so it was alright. Yeah. Bit of dry weather, we had a, sh a quick shower of rain obviously just to, just as we we're getting everything nice and dry. But uh, it's been dry all day, so fingers crossed for tomorrow. It, it's got to the point I don't want to look at the forecast. <laughs> I'd rather just hope for the best. <laughs> well let's uh, fingers crossed for a bit of dry weather, eh? Okay. Right folks, uh, have a nice evening, we'll see you all tomorrow hopefully, bye bye, bye bye. Good morning, Tuesday morning. So, uh, first thing, we've got a uh, 1.30 on now, it's going to a job in St Helens, and we're swapping it for an 8 on it, a ZX85, so that's pretty cool, that's dead easy. Then, we're going to Wigan to collect a 9 meter telly, which is a Ted and the smallish one, not, not the smallest you can get. Uh, with buckets, with bucket and forks, and that should squeeze on the back. So, when we all get in the yard here, uh, there's not always a lot of room for, for everyone. And when the, the trailers turn a corner like that, the back end swings out, and it's very easy to knock somebody's mirror off or scratch a lorry or another digger. So, it's always wise to be careful. And try and keep an eye out for each other if, if you can, you know. So we, we all get on my way to try and help each other out. It's a big thing, it's important that we try to. Okay, let's get doing a piece of the scene of it. We're very lucky to have a team of lads that wash the lorries at the weekends. But the thing is, is that if they can't do it and you think it's going to get done, I think I'd just rather keep on top of it myself. With these trailers, you need to wash them more than once a week, anyhow. Everybody likes a clean trailer. 
but it's not just about that. It's not just about vanity and showing off how clever you are at keeping your trailer clean. It's important to keep yourself safe. You're running machines up and down that all the time. It needs to be clean. Yeah, we're all okay there. She's okay. That's fine. Well, so it's back off our magical tour around Wigan. Let's come back nice and tidy. We can grab iron. Well, that was in a well known as a bog. Well, she's on now. That's seven today, including the, the grab. Or an ordinary six without a grab. <laughs> I need some food. Tuesday night, it's been a late one. Uh, a breaker wasn't ready this afternoon. I had to wait for it. Uh, and it's had a knock-on effect. I was lucky to get that digger back today. Uh, it's washed. As far as I know, the selector grab isn't working. It'll need to be fixed in the morning before I can go and take it. So, yeah, it's uh, been a pretty difficult day. When, when things don't work, it's, it does make life harder. Then you've just got to knuckle down and do your best to get around it. Well, last Tuesday night, it's 6.30 and it's definitely time to go home. So, take care. See you later. Bye-bye. Wednesday morning in the yard. It's late to grab, there's something wrong with it. So it needs to be sorted out. This machine needs servicing before I can load it. Down she goes. And I can stay there. That's on with it. That's going to get sorted. I've got some jobs to do now. Back down here. Ready, let's get going. You get the machine clean, Matt, and Jamie has it. No problem at all. So, if you're a football fan, here we are, main road. Ready for tomorrow? I've got to say, uh, these are a bit easier to put on if you don't have to put the digger on as well. There we go, they're off up to a job of ours tomorrow. Up, near Man up the other side of Manchester. That's us. Time to go, come get changed, there it is going on. Had a pretty easy day today, 13 tonne we slight to grab, uh, little crusher and a small moxie to be fair, from uh, Manchester City Stadium, awesome. It's not often you get to drive a lorry around the football stadium is it? Right. We're good, uh, and it's time to uh, get ready to go. Thank you very much. Good night. Thanks. See you all. And take care. See you all tomorrow, hopefully. Bye bye. It's good to get a chance to clean a trailer yesterday. Uh, you're grateful for it. You know, nobody wants to be working in mud all the time. I drew here. These boys were back late last night, and they've still got themselves loaded and ready for this morning. That's how you do it. And it's a proper beast. Yeah, cracking job. When I saw the instructions for this, the collection note for this, I thought I just thought it was going to be bigger. Never mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. That's us, awesome, Daisy. Uh, all right, that right. Interesting one there. Uh, maybe somebody else's machine is always pretty cool. They were, they were on it then, lads. They were on it. No, no messing. That, that machine, it were an older machine, but it were immaculate, it, bloody hell. And they, they, they had it set up where you needed to pick it up so you could get it loaded straight away. They knew where they wanted it, explained exactly where they wanted it when we delivered it. And for a small area, there was there was room to work and it was a well thought out thing. They clearly know what they're doing in guys. Crikey. Yeah, then, then that little uh, cherry picker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I've got the got the message for that. I know, crikey, that, it's going to be massive, you know. Anyway, off-road cherry picker, and they turned up. Like, <laughs> you know, <is> it? <laughs> so it's been a good day for a leap year, 29th of Feb. Yeah, we've had a, a good day. Yeah, so you get one good day. Yeah, just <laughs> right. Come on, one time. Good night. Black and white rabbits. Good morning. 
first of March and we're going to get a load of shovel from Jackson's in Ford which is only about 20 minutes away so I've done daily treks and we're pretty much ready to go so let's get cracking okay let's see you in a bit Ah, just went on well enough that. Yeah, that'll do. Come on, work to do. Another one home safe and sound. That's Tony's Volvo. I like this one, I like this machine. Tidy. Me that dropped this one off, I don't remember. That's us, another happy week at Happy Earth Plantae. <laughs> We've uh, got back from Bake Up with a big loading shovel, uh, took that off, got that Volvo sorted out, and this, this afternoon I've been working in the yard doing job. Doing jobs in the yard, which is always fun in its own kind of way. Yeah, so there's plenty on for Monday, so uh, we've got a couple of big moves. So let's enjoy the weekend while we can. Okay, okay, guys, enjoy the weekend. See you all later. Bye bye.